Looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now? Look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Coin Bank, guys. You seriously cannot beat that value. I promise. Use code Poodle for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the brand new Ultimate Legends coming to you guys today on Saturday. Of course, guys, Ultimate Legends are pretty much the only weekly content remaining for the rest of the Madden, guys, now. That's not to say that we won't be getting promos. That's different, right? Like, we have the NFL Draft promo going on currently, and then in five days, we have the actual NFL Draft. So, today's Saturday, right? It's five days away. When is it? Is it going to be is it gonna Wednesday? Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Unless it's from yesterday. It's either, Monday, it's either Wednesday or Tuesday. I don't know. I'm super excited for the draft, though. But point is, guys, although we may be having regular-style Madden content, uh, we won't be having regular-style Madden content. We still have promos. Now again, the promo, the, the content they did drop wasn't exactly like I, not everyone really gonna care, right? Like Wildcard Wednesday, I don't really care that we lost Wildcard Wednesday because at the end of the day, only good thing about it was power ups, and at this point in the year, power ups for older cards aren't helping us, right? All these 99 cards are getting power ups. Now, LTVs, that one hurts a little bit more. Uh, the LTVs actually were pretty good cards. I mean, in comparison to some of these golden tickets and cards we're gonna get, probably not. The LTVs were actually kind of cool. Um, Wildcard Wednesday, don't really care about, but yeah. Open Legends are officially the final weekly content we could expect pretty much for the most part. Now, the only thing that about them is that I don't know how long they'll actually last for. We still haven't got the Vicks, the Dion's, the Lawrence Taylor's, the Moss. We still haven't got those cards, so we still have some time. But uh, if I remember correctly, Open Legends typically end around... I don't think they go into June, right? They usually end sometime in May. I don't, I don't think they go on that long. I mean, uh, maybe maybe May, early June, right? I don't, I don't think they go in july for the most part because last year like yeah the game music comes out in july and ultimate legends are way done by then although it has come out in july typically it's august but that's already when we're looking at you for the next game well guys before we get into today's video and go through everything make sure down below hit that subscribe button turn that notification bell give this video a big thumbs up as always if you haven't already head over to my coin bank and use code poodle at checkout for five percent off your order first card guys we have donovan McNabb, quarterback for the eagles now McNabb typically is a really good madden quarterback now it just depends on the stats and everything but let's check it out so we got 92 speed 97 throw power, 96 short, 97 medium accuracy, 94 deep accuracy, 98 throw under pressure, 98 throw on the run, and 96 play action now. Powered up in Kembiff, guys, this card could be really, really good. Now, the only issue is the improvised archetype, which, although now everyone can pretty much get any chem, the issue is going through the AP. So, being an improvised and trying to get things like maybe strong arm or hot rod master will cost significantly more AP than it would cost under the correct archetype like field general or strong arm right so that's what's the beauty of golden tickets when they do come out guys essentially golden tickets you can make each ability slot the specific archetype that you want for that ability so pretty much you can get all the best abilities for one to two so maybe three ap instead of paying the max right so that's gonna be one of the key aspects of golden tickets for especially for quarterbacks that's why quarterbacks this year is gonna be so key uh with golden tickets but donovan McNabb though Powered up chemical guys will have 95 speed, which is super fast for quarterback. And he's a big build, too. Remember that he's pretty powerful. You have 99 throw power, 99 throw short, 99 throw medium, 95 throw deep. So that's already fire all around. 99 throw on the run, 99 throw under pressure, and 97 play action. From a pure passing, running, and I know he's going to have some truck and some carry. From a pure passing and running style stats, he's easily one of the best quarterbacks in the game. Maybe the best quarterback in the game. Well, one of the best, sorry. We got some pretty good strong arm guys. One of the best quarterbacks in the game from a stats perspective. Now, from an archetype and ability perspective, he's probably not the best quarterback. That's just kind of how the cookie crumbles these days in terms of the, the word improviser scares people. Because, uh, you know, improviser more so would be around, like, escape artists and stuff. But people tend to use gunslinger, hot run master, and abilities of those nature, of that nature. So... Donovan McNabb is a cool quarterback, right? He's a cool name, cool everything, but for the most part, from a Madden Ultimate Team perspective, not just stats, it is going to be a little bit of a, it's going to hold him back a little bit, right? In, in essence, because again, and especially with Golden Tickets for New Year's release, I believe he's 26 or, no, it's not 26, 29, 30th, I don't know, but it's, it's not too far. It's not too far away. Golden Tickets will be re released pretty soon in the first batch, so Tebow and whoever other quarterbacks are going to be made will be coming in the very near future and for the most part guys that's what people are going to be aiming on now if you can't afford a golden ticket um that is in that case you can go guys like now but again i think there's some pretty good strong arm quarterbacks already like the farves and the guys that can you know just have a crazy release next we do have let's see right here the marcus Ware cowboy legend i know zerk's happy about this one uh Cow the marcus Ware always has really good cards he's always pretty fast you guys can see he's gonna be one of the he's gonna be, he's gonna be lawrence taylor-esque right because that's kind of the cards that they give to marcus Ware. He will have 92 speed, 96 excel, off the rip, super athletic, 95 strength, 96 tackle, 98 play rec, 95 block shit, 97 power move, and 97 finesse move. His career stats, total tackles, 657, 138.5 sacks, and 35 forced fumbles. This card's great. 
Super cool card art as well. DeMarcus Ware did play on more than one team, I believe. I think he also played on the Broncos as well. If, you know, for the purpose of theme teams, can be powered up. So powered up and chemed up, guys. He'll get 95 speed, 97 excel. That's pretty crazy for an outside linebacking, a pass rushing outside linebacker, right? 95 speed, 97 excel. 96 strength, 97 tackle. Let's see. Um, play rec is going to be a 98, so that's going to be a 99 powered up and chemed up as well. Block show will be a 96. And power move and finesse move will both be 99s with pass rush. He's going to be a 99 pass rusher. Pretty good block show. And I wish his block show would have got 99. Like I've been saying, at the point in the year we're at, everything should be 99 in terms of block show and power move for most of these guys. But they're good. He's a good card. Marcus Ware is definitely going to be a beast on most teams, uh, regardless if it's, you know, and if it's a theme team, guys. If it's a theme team, Marcus Ware might literally get like 99 speed and be absolutely insane. But um, yeah, he. He has that Ricky Jackson build, but those guys do get 99 block shed as well. So that's kind of what's hurting him a little bit here uh, in terms of like the only way to get his block shed up to 99 would probably be to put run stuff, and then he doesn't get 99 power move, which is kind of what you get this card for, right? That's part of the uh, part of the deal. Let's see. The next card we got right here is going to be the Ladanian Tomlinson, guys. Now, we did just get an MJD, Maurice Jones, here. So I wonder how comparative like this card will be because they are comparable in terms of Madden, how these cards will be built, but... Off the rip, this card looks really good. Um, again, and I can imagine from a route running perspective, he should be like damn near Alvin Kamara. But Ladainian Thompson, halfback, elusive back, 99 overall. 3,174 rushing attempts. Wow. 13,684 total yards, or rushing yards, I guess. Maybe not even receiving. Uh, and then 145 touchdowns. No, that's, that's definitely got to be both r rushing and receiving, because if not, I think you'd have like the all time rushing. I could be wrong. I don't know. But yeah, LaDainy Thompson is going to be a beast. He's 97 speed, 98 excel, 98 agility, 97 carrying, 86 catching, 98 change of direction, 83 trucking, 97 break tackle. There's a few ways to go with this card. First off, powered it up and coming up, guys, who have 99 speed, 99 excel, 99 agility, 99 carrying, 87 catching, 99 change of direction, 84 trucking, and about 99 break tackle. So I would assume you put zone run on him, right? You can get some things up on him, but his juke and spin might be maxed already. This might be the kind of card you want to put, like, play fake on or something to see if you can get his medium and his catching. Medium route running and catching, maybe short route running up to above a 90 each. Because that could be the only difference of this card getting, like, really, really good, right? Now, trucking is not as good as MJD. But again, the thing with MJD is going to be this, is that no one really trucks. Unless you're on, maybe on next gen, it can matter. Maybe LT will weigh more. But Danny Thompson is a really good card. He's going to be a beast. He can be a Chargers team team. But in my personal opinion, I think you may want to go play fake on this card. Again, you have to check out the Duke and the Spin and a few other things. But if you go play fake, you may be able to get his catching short and medium route running up to above a 90. Which would make this card really, really good. Uh, because, of course, he's already going to be a max runner for the most part, right? Now, this card is probably going to be fun. You know, these cards always do play well. It's exciting to see LT at such a high overall in the game. Um, you know, the last few years, I feel like we haven't gotten the LT card that we deserve. But yeah, guys, that's about it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you're to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up as always. If you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know which of the three is your favorite. If I had to rank them, guys, coming in at last, I'd probably put Donovan McNabb last. Just because, although he's great being an improvised archetype with the Golden Ticket quarterbacks coming, I know he's not going to be as highly coveted as we believe. Coming in number two, I'd put DeMarcus Ware because he's good, but he doesn't really fall. He, he doesn't like stand out among the other pass rushers, especially with the block shed. Number one, LT. Great running back. Definitely going to be a fun meta card if used properly. That's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Peace.